Hello everybody. Welcome to my channel. I am having lots of fun playing around with this new um, stamp of the month for Close to My Heart. It's called T-rific, I think. Yep, T-rific. You can only get it in the month of March. Uh, with a $50 order, you can pick it up for only $5. Um, so let's get started. Let me show you what I came up with. It's kind of a variation of this card, but it's what I want to show you is more of a technique than anything else. Um, two things, how to make your own background paper, which I showed you last, uh, a few videos ago, I showed you with the bunny card. Um, so we're going to do that here with the same, you know, same technique. And then we're using some watercolor paper. I don't have the close to my heart watercolor paper. Um, I'm going to get it soon, um, but I don't have it. So I'm using a watercolor paper that I get from Michaels. Um, so this is what we're going to do. We're going to use a water brush and we're going to use Poppy and Gold brush, poppy, and gold brush. Let me move this out of the way. I got stuff going on here. Although it's not too bad. I'm doing pretty well staying kind of organized. Okay, this is what you want to do. There's already enough ink here, but if you squish, kind of press in the middle, you will get some ink there that you can use for watercoloring. This one hardly has any, so let's do that. I tried to use the palette from the Dreaming Big uh, collection so that, oh, you know what? It was not Gold Rush. Although I think that might be better. I was trying to use the palette from that Dreaming Big pack because um, I'm trying to coordinate the colors in that way because that kind of helps with matching colors. And I'm using a piece of paper from that pack. It has definitions, bug definitions actually, but you're not going to be able to see that. I was just interested in the color. And then the other side of this is this beautiful um, gold rush color. So we're going to do that. And then this is the piece that we're going to do our stamping of our background. Okay, so for the watercolor, I'm using our wide brush, and this has ink on it already from when I was making the sample, but if you wanted to change colors, you would just use a, this is a dry baby wipe, but you could use a paper towel, and all you do is squeeze it out, and the way this works is you open it up and you fill it with water, and that's it. That's how simple it is. Okay, so I'm going to add some water here, and I'm just going to very, I'm just going to do a wash here. Okay, and once it's wet, it's really easy to, to do the wash, you know, and you just keep adding as much or as little as you want. Clean it off because I want this color at the top and I want to blend them in the middle. Okay, and then what I did, I wanted to do like a little bit of spattering. So you just grab something else that you can knock. let it spatter around okay now you can let that air dry or you can use a heat gun which I'm going to do so 
we never want to heat over this mat here because it is not heat resistant and it will warp. That will not be good. to get the flower of that terrific stamp set and we're going to make a little foam piece we're gonna stamp it with slate no whisper what do you use yeah whisper ink and we're just going to go around here very random. Okay, what I like to do is do triangles. So, see that? So then I would go here. And make sure you turn it. And then go in, like I said, filling it in, making sure that you go off the page. So this is going to rest here. Why do I throw things? Just notice that just playing it. And then this will go here like this. The the pattern paper, the true pattern paper, is cut four and a quarter by five and a half. That's the size of the card base. It's a standard card. Okay. And then this piece is going to sit right here. dry. So we're going to do our stamping and I'm going to do it in black. I'm using the archival even though it's not wet anymore. Um, I love the way that this looks. And I'm going to save a piece for the little tea bag. And then I'm going to use a X-Acto knife to cut out the handle. This, if you just go slowly, you'll be, you'll be just 
this sign. Okay. And a little trick for kind of dealing with the inside there is to use a permanent marker and color it in. But I don't know where it went. So, okay, we're going to cut this out now. Cut both of these out. up our card. Don't forget that this stamp set is only available in March. This is March 2017 and I will leave the link or the website to get to my website www.busycrafting.blogspot.com I mean dot close to my heart dot com and you can go there and pick up your goodies. The dies are on sale this month. They're 25% off. That's all dies sets as well as the sets that have dies. So go check that out. And like I say in each video, I love your comments. So please leave a comment if you can. I, I read them all and they really do encourage me. And I'm gonna just use this marker here to do this little trick. No, oh, it's gonna take forever. Okay, um, okay, so let's go ahead and put this little cup here. I think I wanna offset it a little bit Oh my gosh, that's going to drive me crazy. <laughs> and I think I want to pop it off. Let's just offset it a little bit. And this is how our dimensional adhesive comes. It comes in a roll, it make, which makes it super easy to size it to whatever you need. And it's great for making sugar cards too, which I should do. Okay, I'm sticking out a little bit right there. So, okay. So now, oh, sticky. Cute. so cute. I really like this version of it better than the other one. You know, when I play around, sometimes I just can't seem to make the same card. I just keep getting other ideas. Okay, and then how about some shimmer? You know what's cool to do is to wet the I'm gonna work it through. Get some poppy. Wet it first. And then come in with the shimmer. And now we have a little shimmer. There. And then I wanted to add some of these sequins, the Dreamin' Big sequins on either side here. And there we go. Hope you like that Happy Mother's Day card, and thanks for watching. Bye!